Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. In this career counseling video, we want to talk about uh, the differences between microbiology, biotechnology, zoology, botany and all these things. So, it's going to be a huge debate between all the people from their respective fields. Microbiology versus biotechnology versus the rest of the other uh, subjects. So, let us divide it first. Do not think of microbiology or biotechnology separated here. Let's keep them in the same uh, field as uh, applied biology versus the field that is the classical biology, zoology, botany, human physiology, classical field of the biology. So which field of the biology is better suited for your career to get a job opportunity as well as for the idea of research. So if you want to know about which team you should choose after plus two, to get a better opportunity to job or research stick to us and stay tuned and watch this video okay so we are going to talk about the battle between applied biology and classical biology in the applied biology we have microbiology molecular biology neurosciences as well as the biotechnology and in the classical field we have zoology botany and human physiology so which you should take now, I'll be telling you the pros and cons of every single field. Pros and cons of classical biology as well as pros and cons of applied biology. Then, I'll let you to decide and I'll also give my verdict in this particular matter. Now, first of all, I am a person from applied field of the biology. So, I'm not going to be biased about me or my subject. But, uh, although I can tell you at the very beginning that applied biology will give you much higher option in terms of getting a job. The reason behind it is it's, it's applied biology. Applied means it's application based subject. That means where you can apply your knowledge for developing products in the human, which will be required in the human uh, for different purpose. So let me first tell you about the applied biology that is microbiology and biotechnology field. Many colleges, almost all the colleges used to do the classical biology now have a department on applied biology you can go for there, you can study from their graduation, post-graduation. After doing a graduation, post-graduation in applied field of the bi biology, then you can apply for, you know, multiple options. Options like you're uh, doing BSc, MSc, and then PhD. The option for PhD is very high, and the chance to get uh, in trans for the PhD is also very high for the applied biology students, because the questions are also sometimes in terms of the applied biology. So once you qualify there, you go for the either research or as a lecturer job so if you are going for the research field in that case uh, after doing phd you can do postdoctoral research in india as well as in abroad because these fields are applied and new discoveries are made almost every single time so every single month there are new things coming out so the field of the research is really huge it's growing massively that's one advantage for that. Second thing is that your role as a, uh, as in this growing research field will be as a researcher, as a scientist. Apart from that, uh, if you consider this to get a job, to get a direct job from this field is also quite easy compared to the, uh, the classical field. Because in this case, you are going to get a job in the industries. Because you will be going in the dairy industries, food industries, cosmetic industries, uh, pharmaceutical industries, uh, agricultural industries, in all these industries, there are departments of microbiology, there are places where instrumentation, handling and biotechnology processes are required, bioprocessing, engineering and all these things are required. So a person from the biotechnology field is apt for doing the job. A person from the microbiology field is apt to do the job in the hospitals, both in government sector as well as in the private sector, both in government industry as well as in private industry, both in government funded industrial projects as well as in the private funded industrial projects. People can involve and enroll and do all these things at this field. Now, apart from that, uh, in, the, in the classical field, what happens? The classical fields are the trio, that is uh, zoology, botany and physiology, which people used to study earlier in 90s uh, and all the stuff. So, these three subjects are the core of life sciences, uh, one dealing with animal, one dealing with the plant, another dealing with uh, a superior version of animal, that is us or human. So what happens to this field? The problem with this field is that, you know, from this field you can get and expect a job of, you know, marine biologist or biologist job, zoologist job in the zoo, in the agricultural field, in the forest department. Those are the places where you can uh, go and apply for the job placing in your field. Apart from that, you can be hired by the greatest channels like 
National Geographic, Discovery, Animal Planet, where you can roam around the whole world. And if you are like dream to go for every single country, then visit them, finding samples from there, and conducting pro pro like projects, conducting research works, as well as in studio works, as well as right in front of the camera work, the field work, everything is related to that if you belong to the zoology field, ecology, and botany field. So this is a part to your career that you can select but most of the people don't deserve, don't like to have a life like this where you need to roam around the whole world, you don't have an in, in office or in-house job, there are very less in-house jobs there. So that's another thing, that's another big problem uh, that people think of, although it's a, it's a pro that I can say uh, of this field. Other than that the jobs that are available you can apply for the medical, I mean you can apply for the lab technology, lab technician job as well as the job for uh, you know uh, the education field right people do people can do easily B.Ed and then join the school teaching job as well as they try to do the, the other jobs so these are the hardcore job field after the classical field of life sciences apart from classical field of biology uh, like apart from this hardcore job people can also go for research like people can also go going to research from uh, zoology botany physiology background again they need to do MSc they need to do PhD. So for PhD again they need to follow the same entrance exam that the applied students do that is CSI and GC net. So while I'm going for that exam uh, the competition is the same. So applied field students as well as classical field students come close and mix during the CSI and GC net exam. You'll be checked uh, for all your uh, idea of the subject and knowledge and then you'll be selected for PhD. After doing the PhD again two options as a researcher doing PhD postdoctoral studies in India as well as in abroad apart from that as a lecturer in colleges and in universities so the job opportunities are there so if we, if we want to balance this this right hand side this is the adaptive uh, like the applied and the left hand side is classical so I can say the job opportunities without the PhD is more uh, for the applied field comparatively with that of the classical field okay as well as in the PhD, the, the thing is the same because both of you need to qualify CSI and GC net exam. Although if you look at the syllabus, it's designed in a way that applied students tends to get more advantage compared to that of the classical students. So again, applied biology wins by two points, classical zero. Another advantage is there if you consider the government job and again in the government jobs, especially in the hospitals, they go for the jobs like microbiologist, biotechnology, field neuroscience field compared to the field of zoology or human physiology students can apply for that as well so I can say in the hospital based government jobs uh, the, the opportunities between applied field as well as the classical field is almost equal so ultimately if we compare all these pros and cons together uh, the applied biology gets two uh, the, the classical biology gets zero so ultimately applied biology comparatively is better although the competition is right now is almost equal the students no longer try to obtain uh, other fields they start to stick to the microbiology biotechnology field other than that they can also opt for the zoology botany and, and, and those fields so if it's your hand to decide whether you go for applied or you go for the classical field of the biological sciences uh, it depends on what, what's your economic condition right now and how long you can involve in that particular field if you can stay in that particular field for a long time and if you have a strong economical support, support then I should go with like any of the field will be fine because ultimately your job will be graduation, post graduation and PhD and after doing PhD all the research work and higher studies or teaching after PhD. So in that case it doesn't matter which, which part of the uh, biology you choose. But if your time is limited, if you want to get a job immediately then applied biology comparatively is better than that of the classical field of the biology. So that's the verdict. So now choose wisely because it's your career option, you should not make any mistake in there. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that.